Uh, everyone, welcome to today's draft edition of Rookie Talks. I'm Mark D'Amico, and I'll be your host. We're going to have a really fun conversation with the three of us today, um, two of the best personalities that have rolled through the Celtics doors. So without further ado, I guess I'll introduce Grant, even though all of you know exactly who he is. Grant Williams is a rookie out of Tennessee who the Celtics drafted 22nd overall last year. He played in Boston's 69 of Boston's 72 regular season games. Grant, I haven't seen you in about seven and a half months. How's life? Life is going well. Honestly, just been blessed to, for one, stay safe and healthy. Uh, we've been doing our, our a great job of not only working out and staying active while also um, being aware of our surroundings. So um, right now in Santa Barbara, Taco's been here for a little while in L.A. So we came up here for our assessment and then life-wise saw my family and Kind of just had a relaxing offseason, even though we're about to start back up anytime soon. Let's introduce Taco Fall. Obviously, the, the most famous G League player in the history of the league. I mean, <laughs> everywhere he went this past season, everyone wanted to go see him. Taco Fall, how is life going on for you since you got out of the bubble? It's been a bit of an adjustment because um, first we had to get adjusted to living in the bubble. Then we had to get adjusted to being back to normal life when we got back i was able to spend time with my mom and my little brother um just hung out with them i wasn't able to see them much so that, that was great let's talk about the draft here obviously you got selected last year how do you prepare for the draft just please explain to everyone just how hectic it is leading up to that night with your flying all over the country for workouts with different teams you've got interviews so just try to give everyone an understanding of how crazy that lead up is to that night when your dream comes true. Right, there's just so many things. So you get done for your your, your season, whether it's college or, or say you're playing overseas and you immediately go into a kind of a grinding period where you have to prepare because everything you do from that point forward is now under a microscope even more because this is all about what will help you get to the next step, next level. And I literally, my entire thing was to get my body in shape for all the workouts because when you fly around the country and you're working out at, at a high intensity, high impact level, um, you're definitely gonna have to be fatigued more than you would be if you were just going de to practice every day. So um, the, the intensity and then the interview process was for me is great because I love to talk to people. I love to make connections. No. But to others, <laughs> but to <laughs> others it, may be, it may be difficult because of how maybe they'd be shy or the questions that they ask. So they definitely try and stump you a little bit too. They bring up past uh, details, whether it's like they brought up my high school math teacher once and I was like, wow, high school math teacher, you talked to Miss Goots? Like, I love Miss Goots. It's definitely like you're going through a back background check, but also having to perform and, and have a great outcome too. And another difference that those guys are going to have to go through is that there, there may not be fans in the building for the start of their rookie season. And Taco, your first experience, obviously you were at TD Garden for many games before you played in one. But that first game when you checked in was insane. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. What was going through your head in that moment when you were going to check in and the building erupted as if the Celtics just won their 18th championship? Before I check in, I was really nervous. But then, like, at the end was coming to an end, like, we were up by a lot. So, like, everybody was just, like, almost, like, looking at me and then, Brad turned around and looked at me. I looked at him and I smiled and he smiled. And all of a sudden, you start hearing my name from like one side to the, of the arena to like just like went on the circle. And all, it was like he just picked up and he kept going. He kept going. I was like, wow, this is crazy. And some guys were telling me this is almost like how the playoffs feel at the TD Garden. And, um, I just felt really blessed. I want to ask you both this question because of your different experience on draft night. What advice would you give to prospects this year who are going to be waiting, potentially hear their name called on draft night? The advice that I give to the draft guys is the draft doesn't make your success. Because I was at first going into it, I thought the position of where you got drafted, I thought that all that stuff truly mattered. And if you compete and, and you work hard and you stay driven, that it will all work out in the end. So even if you don't get drafted, even if you get drafted super high, don't ever lose that competitive mindset that got you there. The, the draft will get you in, but the draft won't keep you in. Um, like like Grant said, you have to come in, you have to put in the work, you have to show that you belong. I say now you're a professional, you gotta 
carry yourself as such. What you do on and off the court is very important because all eyes are going to be on you. If an opportunity comes to you, you have to make the most out of it. That's, um, that's all you can do. Thank you guys for cutting your workout short and jumping on with us. Uh, but it was really good seeing you guys' faces. Hope you're doing well. Thank, Thank you. you as well.